So I want to pose an answer to a great question that was asked on Prepping for Survival this week. The question was great. It needed a little bit of clarification, but I'm going to go into a little detail now about why a lot of people had the right answer, and I'm going to show you why they had the right answer. Hey, and if you will, like and subscribe below. All right, so the question was asked, what is the best backpack rifle or breakdown rifle? And there were loads of answers, but the overall winner was the same one that I answered with. But really, to know the right answer, the question has to be clarified just a little. So it should have been asked like this, what's the best backpack rifle or breakdown rifle for certain scenarios? Really, there's two scenarios. One is your get home bag or your quick bug out bag. The other is, uh, and I don't think this is what the person meant, so... Um, I'm going to clarify it, but the other is if, if you're in the, in the military and you're looking at, you know, an assault pack, you're going to carry an assault rifle, that's a little different. So I'm going to focus on what is the best breakdown rifle or backpack rifle for a bug out vehicle or get home quick scenario. We're talking about grab and go. And I'm going to show you what was the overall winner here, but I'm going to show you what some other answers were first. And this is my favorite actually, but this is not what I would, I would answer with. We actually build this rifle. Uh, this is a Copper Gear AR-15 pistol. It's got a 10 and a half inch barrel, has a solid stock, butt stock, because you can't, you can't qualify this as a rifle. This came in a lot. A lot of people showed pictures of their AR rifles. Uh, they also showed some AR-9. So it's an AR platform built with nine millimeter, uh, nine millimeter slot down here for uh, a nine millimeter magazine. This, I believe, was the overall answer, the best answer, in my opinion, which was a kel Sub-2000. And it comes in a lot of flavors. And here's, I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna show you the reasons why this really is the best answer. First of all, that's an AR-15 pistol. You can get these with a seven and a half inch barrel, which makes them three inches shorter, but still at three inches shorter, it's a heavier, bigger rifle. Um, now this is considered a carbine. And um, if you haven't seen one of these, here's the great thing about it, they make it, where it'll take certain magazines from like Berettas, uh, s and Ws. It'll take magazines from Glock 19s, Glock 17s. So if you found a gun that you prefer to standardize on, your mag you can buy one that your magazine will probably fit, or at least in some of those, those flavors. Also, it opens up very quickly. I can literally take a Glock 17 magazine and put it in mine. My gun of preference is a Glock 17. Check this out. And here's the reason, I'm gonna give you the reasons why in a second, why it's important to consider carrying a bunch of different types of ammo, carrying a bunch of different types of magazines. They all take up space. But watch this. I'm gonna take the magazine out, okay? Boom, comes out. This is my Glock 17 pistol. My transition is right there, okay? Take out my Glock 17 magazine, goes right into my kel Sub 2000 right there. And guess what? I'm ready to go again. It is an easy transition from this to this, okay? They're interoperable pretty much. Now, there's another thing that a lot of people don't consider when it comes to bug out bag or a backpack or some of the things that, you know, long-term planning. And, and somebody on the site posed a great comment. How many of you can backpack, you know, a couple of miles with 40 pounds on them? Well, this is noticeably heavier than the kel Sub-2000, okay? So I will tell you, there is a weight difference there. But if you carry two different types of guns, what else do you have to carry? Well, you have to carry two different types of ammo. That's a 223 or 5, I think for sure that's 223. There's a 9mm. They both weigh exactly 0.4 ounces. So you're talking about the same amount of weight. But if you're carrying a couple of hundred rounds, which I recommend, then you've got to carry several pounds of ammunition. Each box of ammo, in fact, I pulled this out to show you, each box of ammo is going to take, it's going to be about, it's about six pounds. No, sorry, let me say that, six ounces. So, no, yeah, six ounces. So talk about doubling your weight on ammo, then doubling your weight on magazines. So here's a 223 magazine. Here's a Glock 19 magazine. If you're gonna carry a couple hundred rounds and stay loaded down, you've gotta carry double the magazines. Again, kel Sub-2000 is awesome. Same interchangeable magazine. 
can work with a number of different pistols that you may or may not already have. Uh, and is light. It's lighter than most any AR-15 platform. And this one's built, this AR-15 is in full billet. So it's about as light as you can get AR-15. All right. So a lot of people are saying, but you can get AR-9s that are built in 9mm, and it's okay. You can use a, you know, you can use another 9mm, same magazine port. You're correct. But then you have, you have what? You have still have double the magazines. There's not one that I know that fits a Glock. 17 or Glock 19 magazine. Anyway, if you're looking at a get home gun or you're looking at a bug out vehicle or a backpack uh, gun, I highly suggest looking at the Peltec Sub 2000. Um, easy to break down, easy to put away. Most anybody can learn how to use it in about five minutes. Hope this helps. Hope this clarifies a question or clarifies the answer. Hey, like and subscribe.